Well, the 1093N plus one episode was pretty popular, so this one's going to be on the equally strange 181N plus one problem. This episode is brought to you by this curious equation, which is certain to appear later. So let's remember first that a while back we were hunting for 3N plus one loops. If we have a sequence of operations, yellow for 3N plus one over two, blue for N over two, we figured out how to find the M that loops back on itself when you apply those operations. So if M is an integer, then we've got a nice 3N plus one loop. And here's the formula for M. It has two parts. There's this gnarly numerator, which depends on the order of the operations. But the more important part is the denominator, which only depends on the uh, length of the loop, k, and the number of yellow up moves, x. If this denominator is small, there's a good chance that a random numerator is going to divide evenly, which means there's a good chance to find an integer loop. In this case, 2 to the 5th is 32, minus 3 cubed is 27, so the denominator is 5. And a random number has a pretty good 1 in 5 chance of dividing evenly. But in this case, m equals 19 over 5. And we can reshuffle the operations and try again, but in this case, we, it, we won't have any luck. So anyway, we want a small denominator plus lots of shuffling possibilities. So here's a chart that shows the different chances of different loops for the 3n plus 1 problem, 5n plus 1 problem, and so on. The darker boxes are where we should look. So the first box has probability 1, and in fact, it's the 1, 2, 1 loop of length k equals 2. The next box also has probability 1 and it corresponds to the negative 5, 7, 10, 5 loop. And there's good chances for a length 8 loop here, um, but it just doesn't happen. And there's a 26% chance of a length 11 loop because 2 to the 11th is close to 3 to the 7th. And sure enough, we find another negative loop, which starts with negative 17. So that's the good news. The bad news is that when we sum up all the expectations in the first row from 1 to infinity, we get an estimated 5.17 loops total. And we found three actual loops, one positive and two negative. How about the rest of the expectation? Well, 5.17 is actually an overestimate because sometimes beta is smaller than the denominator. So there's actually no chance to make an integer. And anyway, for loops longer than length 1,000, the odds are a billion to one against it ever happening. So we've probably found all the 3n plus 1 loops that exist. And I think that's the strongest evidence in favor of the 3n plus 1 conjecture being true. OK, how about the 5n plus 1 problem? Well, this box at loop length 7 is a potential gold mine because the denominator is 2 to the 7th minus 5 cubed is 3, which is about as low as you can get. And there's actually an 86% chance of a loop here. And we actually find two loops. One starts with 13 and the other with 17. Hey, maybe we should make a conjecture P that all loop lengths are prime, like 2, 3, 11, and 7. Okay, how about the 7n plus 1 problem? We haven't gone there yet. Well, it turns out there's a loop of length 3, but it's only the boring 1, 4, 2, 1 loop. And the rest of the chart has some small chances here and there, but none of them pan out. Uh, except for the 15n plus 1 problem, where we find another boring loop that includes 1. Okay, let's see. 19n uh, plus 1, 20n plus 1. Well, why don't we zoom out and keep going? It looks like there's a possibility for a length 19 loop at 3n plus 1, but that one just doesn't work out either. Otherwise, nothing interesting. Some boring loops for the 31n and 63n problem and so on, but those loops involve the number one. So it looks like no more chances for finding loops. Unless we just keep going a little further where we find this weird outlier. For the 181 n plus one problem, there's a 66% chance of a loop of length 15. That's because two to the 15th minus 181 squared is seven, which is a ridiculously small denominator. Is it just a crazy coincidence that this power of two is so close to this power of 181, almost never happens anywhere in this chart. Okay, so 66% chance is good, but is there an actual loop? Yes, there is, and here it is. So we have a good resolution to the 181n plus one problem. 
And we found a third interesting loop to add to the 5n plus 1 loops we already knew about. And looks like conjecture P was wrong since this loop has length 15, and 15 is not prime. All right, what if we go further through this, you know, expand this chart some more? Uh, I did that, but this flare up at 181n plus 1 seems to be the last one. But like we say on this channel, who knows? All right, see you next time.